Talk about, I mean, people who've mastered the art of bullshitting. I mean, following Trump, really as part of the Trump kind of bandwagon. Uh, Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson used to be a decent human being. He used to be able to tell the difference between truth and lie. I'm not saying he never lied, but he used to be able to tell the difference between the two. Well, I don't, I don't think he can anymore. I don't think he has the capacity to tell the difference anymore. I, I don't think he cares anymore. I, I just think reality doesn't matter. Truth doesn't matter. He's just going to say whatever, whatever he thinks will achieve, whatever the, 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 he wants it to achieve at the moment. Tekka Gossen uh, went to Hungary, uh, to Budapest, this uh, last weekend where he gave a uh, talk. Uh, and he used the opportunity first to criticize the uh, U.S. ambassador to Hungary because the U.S. ambassador to Hungary did criticize the uh, Hungarian parliament for passing stringent anti-gay legislation that actually, uh, you know, comes very close to outlawing gay behavior and encourages people to tell on one another. So this is uh, from, from, the, um, uh, from the ambassador's words. Uh, it is impossible to see echoes of, it, it is impossible not to see echoes of this in your parliament's vote earlier this year to encourage neighbors to report to the authorities their gay neighbors raising children. So, so if, if gays have, uh, are raising children, it, 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 people are supposed to tell the authorities because it's illegal. Turning neighbor on neighbor conjures a dark past of covert agents and informants, of fear and betrayal in this country and this region that I do not need to recount. You have a museum for that. While this legislation did not become law, the fact that it was even considered, let alone supported by this government and passed by this legislature is chilling. He's talking about its communist past. He could also be talking about its occupation under the Nazis. He could be talking about either one. Anyway, Tekka Carlson felt it necessary to go and defend the Hungarian honor against the American ambassador over LGBTQ. Right? He says, I'm not in the habit of apologizing for the United States. In fact, I don't think I ever have, but the behavior of the American ambassador to Hungary makes me want to apologize. It's disgusting and inexcusable. It's also so far from the norms of diplomacy in my country that it's hard for me to believe that David Pressman is actually doing what he's doing. But that was just, that was just kind of the warm-up. The thing that really made news uh, uh, with Tucker Carlson is what he went on to say. He talked about the fact that Americans hate Hungary. Maybe he talked about American elites or the American authorities hate Hungary. Why do we hate Hungary? Not because maybe it's authoritarian nature of Orban. Not because maybe they've suppressed all independent media. Not because, you know, they, they are uh, the one country in Europe that seems to be, uh, uh, you know, mildly opposing uh, the support of even the Europeans uh, for Ukraine. Maybe not because, uh, you know, Orban's uh, very friendly towards Putin. No, not because of that. Why, oh, why do Americans hate Hungary? Some Americans. Why do I? Right. And, and do Americans even hate Hungary? Maybe they hate the leadership of Hungary. They hate Orban. But this is what Tucker Carlson said. This is a quote. They hate Hungary because it's a Christian country. Nobody wants to say it, but it's true. That is enough to incite our policymakers in the United States. And that is exactly why they hate Russia, by the way. So our policymakers, our intellectuals, our quote elites, hate Hungary and Russia because they're Christian countries. That's why. I mean, <laughs> really. Really. Now, uh, a number of people have made the point. I mean, I mean, first of all, this is just stupid. Somebody said whenever, whenever Tucker says, but it's true that he's lying. <laughs> That's true, I think, too. 
Uh, but here's some statistics from both Hungary and Russia in terms of how religious they are as countries. We'll talk about what Christianity has to do with this. Just 16% of Russians say that religion is very important to them, and just 7% attend worship services weekly. That would put it, if, it, if Russia was a state in the United States, that would put it as the most secular state in the United States of America. So by every measure, if you, if you count how seriously people take their religion and how often they go to church, the United States of America is a lot more sec, uh, religious, a lot more religious than Russia is. Uh, when it comes to Hungary, 19% of Hungarians say that religion is very important to them, and less than 19% attend worship services weekly. Again, it would be more secular in California, more secular than Massachusetts or whatever state you want. As I mean, there is a sense in which we should hate Hungary over Christianity. But it's not because it's a Christian country, i.e., the people there are Christian. They are not. It is because both Russia and Hungary use as the moral justification for the particular government that they have, use as moral justification for the policies of the government, and use as a basis for their policies religion. That is the problem with Russia and Hungary is not the religiosity of their people. They're not that religious. The problem with Hungary and Russia is the religiosity of their government and the refusal of their government to separate church and state. That is the use of religion in politics. That is the problem with Russia and Hungary. So yes, there is no separation of state from church in those countries. Yes, Hungary wanted to pass legislation based on religion that was anti-gay for no real reason. And yes, Russia has all kinds of laws that place the Russian Orthodox Church in kind of a superior position in the country. By the way, uh, by the way, a few years ago, Russia criminalized missionary work and evangelizing of other churches, non-Russian Orthodox, outside of outside of you know outside of the Russian Orthodox. People have landed in jail for merely discussing the Christian faith again when it's not Russian Orthodox. And that's by the way, from uh, if you don't believe me, you can check it out on Christianity Today. The link to that. I mean, no one hates Russia because it's Christian. Maybe because it invaded a, a, a country that was not aggressing against it. Maybe people hate Russia because the Russian regime executes its opponents. Maybe people dislike Russia because it flirted with uh, some kind of democratic or you know, elections, and, and then has basically rejected that for complete corruption. Maybe people hate Russia because it's ruled by a mafia. I mean, there are lots of reasons why people might hate Russia, but Christianity is not one of them. Again, maybe it's because Russia does not have the separation of state and church. So again, Tucker Carlson BSing his way through another public presentation.